Yes, this is me again, Avraham Saltum from Jerusalem. We are in the Middle East, and today we are going to do one more tutorial for uh, Studio Pro number five. And today we are going to learn how to set up a character. Yes, today's lesson is about character setup. For this, we'll be using. Um, a file, a sample file is already mostly finished. Uh, the purpose of this file is for this example alone. And we will be um, opening, if you don't know where the file is, it's under the tutorial folder that comes um, with um, Studio Pro number 5. And uh, here's the path. And the name of the file is tutorial 3.4. All right, this is the character, and as you can see, um, it's a lifeless. Lifeless. Don't have any movements over here. You cannot move it around. You can. I mean, you can move the whole figure like this, um, but. We want to move the arms. We want to reuse this image several times, either or in an animation or something else, or different poses. So we need to give life. We're going to add bones. Yes, bones and a bone structure uh, to this um, character in order to enable it to come alive. A for the sake of clarifying, see for each part of our character, as you may see, um, a different layer was created. By the way, this is the right way of creating a character. You have to everything could be placed on a single layer, but to have things clear and be easier to manipulate characters. Um, it's good to have each part of the body on a different layer. Additional to that, also note here that we have a, a, a right, a left arm, but you don't see because it's underneath the body. Yes. Although you don't see, it's there. All right. And we are going to, first step, we are going to uh, split apart the character. Split apart the character, as I said before, it's easy. We're going to go uh, uh, um, part by part. First, the right arm. So we go to Edit, Select All, and all the points of that part. In our case, the right arm are selected. And we're going to ask for Translate to, and we can take the arm apart. Isn't it easy? Now we are going to do the same thing with the head. For this we are going to select the head and I'm going to ask to edit, select all and the uh, translate tool, tool is already selected. We are going to move the head a little bit up and next part will be uh, the the leave the torso there, the right leg is also going to go away. Again, edit, select all the dots, all the points on this layer, and we are taking the leg apart. And now the left leg, the same thing, edit, select all, only the points of that layer. And we have the translate tool activated, and we are taking the leg apart. And last but not least, the left arm, edit, select all, and the translate tool enable us to uh, take it apart. This was the splitting of the character. Now, to add bones, it will not help uh, adding bones on any of these layers because the bones can only be added on a bone layer. So we are going to add a bone layer. For this we go to layers, we click on a new layer, as you can see a dialog box pops up, we have several types of layer, 
we have vector layers, we have image layers, we are going to ask for the bone layer. Now, I like name, name on everything, everything you can give a name. And on the layer, we're going to call it skeleton. Yes, click OK. And we are going to drag the recently added layer to the top. Now, very important, although we created a bone layer, we need to drag and drop the other layers into the bone layer in order to create sub-layers, so we can add bones to these layers. All right, so drag becomes red and drop. Drag becomes red and drop. Drag becomes red and drop. Same thing with the right leg, try to maintain the same uh, order as before. And now we have all the layers under the bone layer, the skeleton bone layer. And here we go, we're going to add bones. I don't have, we have much time, we can have maximum, YouTube allows us maximum 10 minutes. And so far, 7 minutes been gone, so we'll be adding the layers. And now we are going to add the bones. Yes. Let's start with the torso. And we already know for adding bones, we have to have the skeleton, the bone layer selected. Otherwise, the bone tools are cannot even be activated. They are disabled. So after we select the bone layer, we're going to use the add bone tool. And we're going to add a bone here another bone here and we'll be adding bones to the arms as well look at this more bones to the arms one bone to the head yes so it becomes a part of the body and we're going to add um, three bones on the leg including the foot, same thing on the uh, second leg, and we have. On the second part of this tutorial, we will learn how to connect these bones, make parenting, so a movement can affect another bone, and therefore uh, automatic animations, more lively animations come through. Thanks for watching, don't miss the second part of this tutorial, how to set up a character and we'll finish this exercise.